Winter, and Death, is coming to Westeros as HBO gathers its bannermen for Game of Thrones Season 8. There are just six episodes of Slaughter and Starks, Dragons and Dire Wolves left. In a show known for its spectacular character exits, fans are expecting to lose a few more familiar faces before David Benioff and D.B. Weiss bring their fantasy epic to a close. The odds are already out there on who'll live and who'll die in that winter wonderland, but let's look at the facts. Yara Greyjoy HBO poor Jenna Whelan never really had her chance to shine as Yara Greyjoy. Although she came sailing back into action for season 6, Yara's LGBTQ plus potential has been sidelined in favor of Uncle Euron and his self-proclaimed massive cock. Yara was last seen at the mercy of Euron, so it's presumed she's with him as he sails to get the shiny golden company. Frankly, there just isn't room for Yara in season 8. As Theon sails to her rescue his sister with what remains of his iron fleet, there could be a twist on the horizon. In classic throne style, there would be a definite gut punch if Theon charged in to save the day only to find Yara already flayed and displayed atop Euron's ship, the Silence. Euron Greyjoy HBO Don't worry though, it's equally likely that Euron and his impressive manhood will get a grim demise before the credits roll. Currently off to recruit Cersei's secret weapon, the slippery Euron is pretty much guaranteed to get his comeuppance in Season 8. Remembering back to the action-packed Season 8 trailer, there were two shots of Cersei. Although she looked pretty chuffed in the first one, her joyous face was replaced with a pensive glare as it looked like she'd been given some bad news. Also, while the trailer seemed to give a tease of newcomer Harry Strickland, there was no sign of Euron by the Golden Company's side. Melisandre HBO Another character who has skirted the edges of questionable morality, the Lady Melisandre is tipped for a poetic swan song in the icy final season. Ironic given her allegiance to the fiery Lord of Light, Mel has been in danger ever since she screwed up those Stannis prophecies and through her own Baratheon barbecue. Briefly aligning herself with Daenerys, Melisandre was last seen hot footing it back to Valandis. In a pointed exchange with Varys, the Red Woman predicted that she'd return to Westeros one more time, to face her death. Considering there's been almost no sight of Carice Van Hoden in the run-up to Season 8, Melisandre could be one of the earliest casualties. Beric Don Darien HBO Although he survived the dramatic Season 7 finale, how much longer can Beric Don Darien really hold on to life? In George R. R. Martin's books, Beric sacrifices himself to reanimate Caitlyn Stark as the zombified Lady Stoneheart. Benioff, Weiss, and even Martin have promised Stoneheart won't be part of the show, but that doesn't mean the story can't work with someone else. Set the scene with the climactic Winterfell battle in the third episode. Imagine a fan favorite like Arya, Tyrion, or even Jon, again, perishing, only for Beric to understand their importance in winning the war. Beric could throw down his flaming sword and give them another chance to take on the Night King. Brienne of Tarth Helen Sloan HBO Even if it's a horrible thought to mull over, Brienne could be in trouble. The warrior's parting words to Caitlyn Stark were that she'd protect Arya and Sansa with her life. Given the proximity of the Stark girls to the army of the undead currently marching toward Winterfell, expect to see Brienne lay down her life to protect the girls and repay her debt to all those other dead people she swore to protect. The trailer shed some light on the huge battle that is set to take place and clearly shows Brienne neatly in the firing line at the very front. Anyone shipping a romance between Brienne and Jaime slash Brienne and Tormund had better get the tissues ready, 
Sergio Amor Montt HBO Another big name willing to take one for the team, Sergio Amor Montt is in a dangerous position. After his whole redemptive arc that saw him shunned by Daenerys and then brought back to her side, the loss of Jorah would be a major kick to Team Danny. Even after surviving his brush with Deadly Grayscale, Jorah is still living up to his nickname of Lord Friendzone and vying for Daenerys' affections. In an ideal world, Jorah would serve by her side until the end of days, but this being Game of Thrones, she's unlikely to be able to keep her court intact, Sansa Stark HBO After the Stark kids dwindling ranks over the first seven seasons, they're showing a united front in season 8. This being Game of Thrones, audiences are expecting at least one more Stark death and, sorry to say it. Sansa is a likely candidate. Back when George R. R. Martin gave the original pitch for his Ice and Fire saga, he highlighted five main characters that would make it until the end. While Arya and Jon were part of that lucky quintet, Sansa Stark was notably missing. Mind you, Arya and Jon also had an epic love affair, so take it with a pinch of salt. Also, following her evolution from spoiled brat to Queen of Winterfell, Sansa's seat at her family homestead is in serious jeopardy as the White Walkers descend. Even if some would love to see Sansa have a happy ending with someone like Tyrion Lannister, she could be destined for a bloody bye-bye in the upcoming Winterfell War. The Mountain Bud Light he's had a good run, but there's no way Sir Gregor Clegane is getting out of this one alive. Dodging death in season 4, the mountain has since returned as the zombified Sarah Robert Strong, promising to keep a vow of silence until all Cersei's enemies are vanquished, there could be a long wait. While Benioff and Weiss continue to downplay the idea of Clegane Bowl, a loyal legion of fans are hoping for a showdown between the Mountain and the Hound in Season 8. How things will play out is still a mystery but remember that Shandor Clegane warned his brother that the end was nigh in Season 7, that's not how it ends for you, brother. You know who's coming for you. You've always known get hyped because the mountain might have finally met his match. Cersei Lannister HBO possibly the number one candidate for most likely to shuffle off this mortal coil in season 8. As if losing her husband, all her children, and then having her own brother lover turn his back on her weren't enough, Cersei now has the deadly threat of White Walkers to deal with. The latest cast photo already had people worried for Cersei, but how will she go? Remembering the prophecy of Maggie the Frog, Cersei was warned that the Valonqar would wrap his hands about your pale white throat and choke the life from you. There could be a whole article on who the Valonqar, little brother, destined to kill Cersei is, but the likes of Daenerys, Tyrion, and Jaime seem to be contenders. Elsewhere, there's that whole idea that the Night King will head to King's Landing and turn Cersei into his very own Night Queen, well, it would certainly go with her frosty persona. Daenerys Targaryen HBO we earn a commission for products purchased through some links in this article. What? Yes, the biggest season 8 twist would be Daenerys Targaryen falling at the final hurdle, since the very first episode. Thrones has seen Danny trek across the desert, the sea, and now Snow to gain her seat on that pointy chair. Even if the Mother of Dragons has dodged those Mad Queen theories that she'd turn into her unhinged father, her death could be just over the horizon. If Jon really becomes the prince that was promised, Game of Thrones could repeat history and have the brooding bastard plunge his sword into Daenerys and go Azor Ahai, killing his, willing, love to save the Seven Kingdoms. It's no secret that Martin has teased a bittersweet ending to his books, meaning the same is almost certainly coming to the show. There's a whole Reddit thread that highlights what Daenerys vision